Cancer immunotherapy is an innovative therapeutic approach to treat cancer by mobilizing a patient's own immune system instead of targeting tumors. It can conceivably be effective against any type of cancer. Immune checkpoint inhibitors, a promising new class of cancer drugs, can unleash the cancer cell killing power of the immune system by blocking the hardwired inhibitory pathways that keep T cells in check. The effect can be enduring and long term, allowing the body to respond rapidly should a tumor recur. Immunotherapy offers the potential to complement the high impact short term benefit of molecularly targeted therapy with a potentially more durable response mechanism. Our immune system provides surveillance activity to kill tumor cells in the body. When a T-cell encounters a tumor-specific protein carried by an antigen-presenting cell, the tumor antigen can trigger antigen-specific T-cell activation and expansion. These activated tumor antigen-specific T-cells will eliminate the tumor cells. Checkpoint molecules help keep activated T-cells under control. They can be stimulatory or inhibitory. Inhibitory checkpoint molecules provide a negative feedback mechanism, like a brake on a car, to attenuate the function of activated T cells and prevent an overreaction that could damage tissues and organs. Cancer cells can utilize the body's immune inhibitory checkpoint system to blunt T cell action and enable the tumor to develop. Program cell death protein 1, or PD1, is an example of an inhibitory immune checkpoint receptor. When PD-1 interacts with a ligand such as PDL1 and PDL2, which may be expressed on normal or tumor cells, activated T cells will be turned off, inhibiting T cell signaling. Some tumor cells express high levels of inhibitory immune checkpoint ligands such as PDL1, allowing them to avoid destruction by T cells. Inhibitory immune checkpoints can be blocked using monoclonal antibody-based drugs. Immune checkpoint blockade prevents the binding of specific ligands on tumor cells to their inhibitory immune checkpoint receptors on T cells. These powerful antibody drugs can significantly boost a patient's immune response to a tumor. They may also cause serious side effects, such as an autoimmune response in some people. The FDA approved the first immune checkpoint inhibitor in 2011 to treat advanced metastatic melanoma. Subsequent clinical trials have shown that this approach holds promise in other advanced cancers, including lung, kidney, bladder, head and neck, and Hodgkin's lymphoma. The potential promise is to increase the proportion of patients with durable responses and to convert the non-responders to responders using combination treatment approaches. PD-1 is just one example of an inhibitory immune checkpoint molecule with a proven role in cancer immunotherapy. Other inhibitory checkpoint proteins include CTLA-4, TIM-3, and LAG-3. Research is underway to better understand the underlying mechanisms of immune checkpoint networks, to discover new checkpoint receptors and ligands, and to develop novel monoclonal antibody drugs for cancer immunotherapy. Clinical studies are also evaluating promising combination treatments that include the best standard of care therapies with one or more immune checkpoint blockade drugs to improve patient outcomes and survival.